This is getting very confusing. I mean, One Piece World has multiple moons or it has only a single moon. Well, does it matter? Is it important? Uh, I think it is. I'll explain why. Whenever we see the night sky in the One Piece world, we see only one moon, not multiple moons. The minks can use their so long transformation during the full moon, and they can do it only once a month. So if there were multiple moons, the minks could have done it more than once in a month, right? However, contrary to our expectation, in Nico Robin's O'Hara flashback, we see a different story. In the library, we see a globe and there are six moons circling around the blue planet or Earth. So what's going on here? Now there are two possibilities. Number one, the One Piece world actually had multiple moons, but at some point in time they got destroyed and only one left. Perhaps it has something to do with the ancient weapon, Uranus perhaps. And number two. Those were actually planets, not moons, and they were orbiting around the blue planets. It is similar to the geocentric model where Earth is the center of the universe, the sun, the moon, the stars, and the planet orbit around the Earth. So basically what it's saying is there is only single moon, not multiple moons. In the Thillerberg arc, we got Enel's cover story, and it is one of the most important cover story in the series. Enel's ancestors, the Birkins, were from the moon. In fact, the Skypians, the Shandians, and the Birkins were all from the moon. When the moon's natural resources depleted or finished, they left moon and came to the blue planet and settled there. The Shandians settled near Jaya, an island of the East Blue. The Skypians and the Birkins settled on the Sky Island. Around 800 years ago, because of a knockoff stream, the Shandians found themselves on the Sky Island. So the white winged race, that is the Skypian, the Shandians and the Birkins all came from the moon and they eventually settled themselves on the Sky Island. On the other hand, Kaido's right hand man, King the Wildfire, also known as Albert, also has wings and he is a Lunarian. So obviously uh, he has something to do with the moon. Perhaps his ancestor lived on the moon and later came to the blue planet and at some point in time they settled themselves on the red line as royals. Around 800 years ago, 20 kingdoms founded the world government. And except for Alabasta Kingdom's royal family, that is the Nefertari family, other royal families relocated themselves where the Lunarians used to reside, that is the Marijoa. Before the void century, people used to call the Lunarians as gods. The 19 royal families replaced the Lunarians and people started calling them Tenjubito or celestial dragons. So basically, they became the new gods. We know that king can generate and manipulate fire, fishmen can manipulate water and minks can generate electricity. Fishmen and minks are being discriminated and often persecuted by the humans. We've seen mermaids being auctioned, fishmen and minks being tortured and the Lunarians being experimented as guinea pigs. So it is possible that the Lunarians, the fishmen and minks have something in common, except for getting persecuted of course. It is possible that they came from the moon or they were on good terms with each other in the past. That could date back to the 4th century or before the 4th century. So it is possible that in the future arcs we might see other races who can manipulate wind or earth. So do you think that we would see the races who can manipulate wind or earth? Comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more contents. Thanks for watching.